我以为啊，我们妇女应该做的事情是很多的，譬如捐款呢，援助前线的将士，家庭生产呢，救济难民，救济孤儿等等。On 13th of August, 1947, Chiang Kai-shek triggered Battle of Shanghai in China to raise the international awareness of the Second Sino-Japanese War. The foreign troops had to resist to protect the foreign citizens living in Shanghai. This turned the Japanese invasion into a world war. Nowadays, it is common to see the gender stereotype that war effort was always correlated with male soldiers. In fact, instead of being passive victims of the war, many women contribute to China's war effort as warriors, nurses, and social welfare providers. The Child Welfare Protection Association was one of the national wartime welfare projects conducted by Song Meiling. The majority of the daily supplies came from overseas donations, especially from the U.S. because of the efforts of Song. The membership of the association comprised women from different political campaigns like the Nationalists, the Communists. Different parties and Christian organizations. On 10th of March, 1938, the association was started in Hankou, functioning as families for over 30,000 homeless children, and thousands of staff members from all over the country. After the Japanese seized Hankou by October 27, the headquarter of the association was moved from Hankou to Chongqing in November. During the war. The association protected the homeless children and female refugees by offering them shelter, meals, health care, and educational opportunities. However, because of the scarcity of medicine, the doctor could only treat minor problems. After 1941, many children were also suffer from night blindness and malnutrition because of insufficient food supplies. Apart from the basic needs, the community also nurtured the children's nationalism, independence, and self-discipline to develop their moral character. The association not only determined the survival of China's next generation, but the cooperation between the female faculty with different political backgrounds also perfectly shone the unity of Chinese women during the crisis. Apart from the protection of refugee children, women also supported China's resistance in multiple other aspects. On the 1st of August 1937, Song Meiling founded the Women's Consolation Association in Nanking, followed by the formation of Shanghai, Chongqing, Hankou, and Amoy branches. The nationwide female commissions unified the Chinese female leaders and commissions with different political backgrounds. The federation had an effective organizational structure to better concentrate the sizable amounts of Chinese human resources. The funding of the federation mainly consisted of donations from the U.S. and the nationalist government's subsidies. The volunteers' duties include propaganda, patriotic education, fundraising. Self-defense, preparing materials for resistance, manufacturing uniforms, laundry, cheering, as well as medical care for both soldiers and the public. The five-day-long Lushan Conference was launched by different female leaders, women commissions, and professional sectors, including Song Meiling, Deng Yingchao. And leader Chen. The conference successfully set up the mobilization of women in participation for resistance and development outline to organize Chinese women for resisting the Japanese. The Women's Committee of the New Life Movement Promotion Association was reformed in July 1938 as the top federation to unify the female organizations over the country. 
It was initially founded in 1936 to assist the implementation of the New Life Movement in the Republic of China. The Women's Constellation Association belonged to the cheering sector, while the Child Welfare Protection Association was under the child welfare sector of the Federation. In World War II, Chinese female troops played an important role in construction and production. The defense units usually provided auxiliary support to release men for frontline duties. Paramilitary groups were commonly known as women's defense corps. They were classified by districts. There were millions of women joined the defense groups in Canton, Hainan, and Shannon bases. The major roles of this militia were combat support, transportation, operating radio, and information collection. The militia always carried bullet bags across their body to defeat the Japanese. Guanxi Student Corps is one of the most prominent resistance groups. The unit was formed by the Guangxi local government in July of 1936, a year before the burst of Marco Polo Bridge incident. In the Battle of South Guangxi in November of 1939, thousands of female students were recruited as combatants to assist the National Revolutionary Army. However, the female defense corps were independent in each region. The materials and manpower within districts may have been easily distributed. Without foreign country support, it was also difficult for the groups to gain powerful weapons and sufficient funding. Although the war effort of Song Mei was well recorded in photos, recordings, research papers, and oral history interviews. The provincial female units were barely documented and lack of well-organized information. With more understanding of the women's engagement in World War II, the social roles of wartime women could be fully revealed. It is a critical time for historians to race against time and conduct further research on the mysterious woman's defense court.